Sagittarius, welcome to your weekly lunar reading. So this is going to cover the March 1st quarter moon through the waxing gibbous phase. So that's March 21st through March 27th. And that is going to cover the signs of Gemini, Cancer, Leo, and Virgo. So make sure you're thinking about your person, Sag, because your thoughts have very high vibrational impact. They really do determine your life. So make sure that you are focused in connecting to the energies and let's get started. All right, Spirit Guides of Sag, Spirit Guides of Sag's person. Let us know how Sag's person is thinking about Sag during this first quarter moon phase to this waxing gibbous. How is Sag's person feeling about them during this weekly lunar cycle? How are they feeling during this lunar week? Okay. Ten of Wands. Like, it's a big burden. Like, there's a lot to carry on. There's a lot to get on with. But, you know, tens are always a completion of a cycle. So this person thinks, I'm almost hearing more trouble than it's worth. This person feels like they have been pushed to the edge. And let's see how they, why they feel like the Ten of Wands. Why does this person feel like the Ten of Wands towards Sag? Explain this spirit during this first quarter moon phase. Why is this person's feelings the Ten of Wands? Whoa, 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 whoa. Take the one on the bottom. Okay, yeah, that's it. <laughs> Three of Swords upright. Three of Swords is the saddest card in the deck to me besides the Ten of Swords. This is the heartbreak energy. I feel like no one got out unscathed in this connection. And I think that's why they think it's more trouble than it's worth. I don't know. I don't. Yeah, I was gonna say, I don't know who broke whose heart, but I feel like both your hearts were broken. And this person's just like, I don't even know if I can carry on again. All right. What are their intentions during this first quarter moon phase spirit? Sag is person's intentions. Intentions for Sagittarius this person. Whoa, whoa. Okay, we have the Knight of Swords in reverse. Um, this person is not planning on talking to you because I think they're very heartbroken still. There's a lot of heavy energy going on here, like a lot of toxic, heavy energy. Um, and I think they think it's an ending. So with the Knight of Swords in reverse, I don't see them making any sudden movements towards you, especially with how fast this horse is moving. And this knight, I think they're kind of keeping things a little bit calm. They're like, I don't know if I can go forward towards Sagittarius. All right. Spirit guides come through. Let us know what's the most likely outcome between Sag and Sag's person. What's the most likely outcome or scenario? Okay, we have the moon upright. So this is all about the feels, our intuition, and this is a lunar reading. So instantly, I already know they're connected to you. They're intuitively feeling you out. But I feel like with the moon, especially during this lunar week, they are really going to be thinking about you. The moon's going to have a heavy impact on them. They could be an air sign. Um, they could also be a fire sign like you, but the moon, they could be a cancer as well or Pisces. But yeah, they're definitely thinking about you. Mm. They're feeling like they're feeling a lot of feels right now. And I feel like it's a lot of painful feels. All right. Spirit guides of Sagittarius, spirit guides of Sagittarius, this person, how does Sagittarius, this person feel about them at this time. Thank you, we got three, okay. Retreat, protected, and obsession. So I feel like because, I almost feel like the obsession energy is both of you. It was like, that's why there's so much heartache because you were both so deep into this connection, almost obsessed, almost like each other was a drug. I'm hearing like, I'm addicted to you like a drug. But I think it's, it's by divine intervention that you guys are not together right now with protected. I think this person is like, okay, we got to protect both of our space, protect our peace, protect our energy. And I think that's why they're choosing to retreat right now. Overarching energy spirit for Sag and Sag's person. How is this person feeling towards Sag during this first quarter moon? To the waxing gibbous. Okay, we have discovery. How are they feeling? That one? Victim. <laughs> Discovery and victim. And it kind of does make sense with the three of swords, ten of wands energy. I don't know if they're playing the victim, feeling like the victim, but this person feels like they lost. And then we have discovery, which is interesting with this whole moon energy. 
I think they're discovering, it's almost like they're doing shadow work. Like they're discovering a lot of their feels, a lot about what's going on inside of them, a lot of things that they haven't processed before. And I think they're really feeling those feels after all is said and done here. There's a lot of heavy energy, a lot of kind of chaotic energy. And I think the discovery is kind of about that. All right, more about this person, how they feel in towards Sag during this first quarter. Dance, celebration. Yeah, they want to lighten up the energy. And I feel like they want to kind of get back in rhythm with you, but they know right now they got to retreat. Anything more about that spirit, about their energy towards Sag? Summer solstice radiance. Yeah, like I said, they want to lighten up the mood. I feel like they want to be good with you, really happy with you again. Summer solstice. This person definitely could be a fire sign. Um, or this could be an indication that something's going to happen around the summer solstice. All right, more energy, spirit, between Sag and Sag's person during this first quarter moon. What can we expect? Anything to, wow, expect. Sag and Sag's person. All right, we'll take them both. Actually, it's four of them, but it's all it's all good. Wolf spirit, turn knowledge into wisdom. Groundhog spirit, time to let go. Makes sense with retreat. I almost feel like with um, turn knowledge into wisdom. I'm hearing lone wolf. I think they're trying to be alone right now. And on traditional tarot, I think even on this, there's a wolf staring at the moon. So there's something about um, kind of loner energy or maybe they're trying to like find their pact right now. And then we have canary spirit, sing your own song. Yeah, there's something about loner energy retreating letting go i think that's this shadow work is this person's going through shadow work and then we have cow spirit the miracles are endless so that usually happens once you do shadow work there's a lot of miracles that come out of it a lot of discovery a lot of celebrations but i feel like they have to go through their dark night of the soul experience before this comes back around or this could be their dark night of the soul experience um all right more energy is to expect spirit during this first quarter moon, we have clarity and ritual, which is really interesting to me. Oh, we have a one and a 10. So it's like as the completion of a cycle comes, 10, a new cycle begins. So I think ultimately they want to get to this, but they know that they can't do it just yet. They know they got to go through this period where um, they're honestly kind of like doing their own thing, like being very independent, self-sufficient. There's a lot of eyes on here. So this person's still dreaming about you, thinking about you. And with ritual and this moon energy coming out, I feel, I don't know if they're doing um, like moon rituals. If they're not even into that, they could be opening their eyes to spirituality, getting clear on, clearer on a lot of things. And I think that could be the case with discovery too. All right. More about Sag's person, how they're feeling towards Sag. What she got us? say spirit listening and oath so listening yeah i think somehow they're trying to tune in to their soul tune into their inner being with listening i think that's how they're finding clarity too <clears throat> and then oath i think they're thinking about everything regarding your relationship maybe things that went wrong but i almost feel like because they're thinking so much about your relationship it's only because they're they're trying to be better. They're trying to do the shadow work, let go, retreat, so they can sing their own song, so they can turn this knowledge of whatever happened between the, the two of you into wisdom. And I think with Miracles Are Endless, the moon coming out, all this kind of intuitive, magical, mystical energy, you can kind of expect that this will come back around eventually. Um, but I think right now, this person's just trying to do their own thing. Anything more about how they're feeling towards Sag Spirit? person's feelings towards Sag. Let's break it out. Attachment. There we go. I knew it was going to come out. This person's very attached to you. They've even got their mask up. I feel like they're taking their mask off. That's why they're getting clearer. That's why they're discovering more. But this person still, even if they're not saying it to you, which I don't think that they are, they're very much attached to you still. All right. More for Sag and how their person feels. Okay. Okay, we have mystery, <laughs> so
so interesting. I just said this. Turn away and letting go. So we have time to let go, letting go, turn away, retreat. So there's a heavy energy in here about singing your own song, doing your own thing, the moon, all about the inner self. This person's doing hella shadow work. They're taking off the mask. They're lifting the veil. They're seeing more clearly, which is a beautiful, beautiful thing. But with mystery, yeah, all this moon energy, ritual energy, mystical energy, third eye energy, you can definitely rest assured they're thinking about you, dreaming about you. Very interesting. Let's get a number frequency for Sag's person. A number frequency for Sag's person. How are they feeling about Sag? Five and four is nine. Yeah, this is the ending of a cycle. Nines are all about wrapping things up. So I think that kind of makes sense with tens going nine, ten. It's trying to kind of end something. This person, I think even if it's not just ending this relationship, it's ending the way that they used to act, used to be. I think it's a lot of inner work that this person's doing. Um, this person might reach out to you and tell you how they feel during this moon phase. But yeah, that, how they're feeling is they got to do some inner work, shadow work. This relationship left them heartbroken, but they're trying to learn from it. Turn knowledge into wisdom. So I hope this resonated with you, Sagittarius. Thank you so much for watching, and I will catch you in the next lunar reading.